Top of the morning, champions. This is FBI Art with a radio broadcast for champions. And if you're not a champion or you don't feel like a champion, you start listening to this radio program today and it's going to stir your living bones up and you'll be going out and uh, uh, be like Samson and w with your jawbone in your mouth. You're, go you're going to be tearing off chains off your life. That this is a secret. The title of, the, of this message today, champions, is how and when did Jesus get his anointing? What do you mean by that, Art? Well, let, let's just take a look at that and uh, check it out. Great question. I've never heard anybody ask that. When did Jesus get his anointing? Was he anointed? And this is the time we want to look at it. So uh, I went back and I checked this out. I believe I'm right on this. Uh, let's just take a look at it real carefully and, and with the Gospels. Say, all right, the first time Jesus was anointed, I believe it was uh, uh, back in, in the very beginning when he was born on the eighth day. It said an amazing thing that they took Jesus uh, to the temple uh, to, to, to get uh, uh, dedicated because that was what was done in the Jewish law. Because he fulfills all things that righteousness will be done. You'll notice he'll say that he will always fulfill all righteousness. That's when John the Baptist uh, uh, grabbed him. He said, all righteousness. We must fulfill all righteousness. God does everything according to, to his, uh, his word. Why this is important, I believe, for this reason. Remember when David was anointed king, Samuel Kenton anointed him way before he was king. But he had to be anointed. God anointed David by Samuel. Now, also, Paul was anointed by Ananias. He got him filled with the Holy Spirit. So that was the anointing. The Holy Spirit coming on you is the anointing. The Holy Spirit is the anointing. Correct? All right, champions. Now, Luke 22, it says this amazing thing. There was a man named Simon in Jerusalem, the righteous man that dwelt. He was waiting for the one who would comfort Israel. The Holy Spirit was on him. You understand that? The Holy Spirit was on him. Or another way of saying it, the anointing was on him. Luke uh, 20, 2, 26. And it's revealed by him, by the Holy Spirit. It says in 1 John, the anointing shall teach you all things, or the Holy Spirit. That he should not die until he has seen the Lord Messiah. And that word, is, and shall not taste death until he experienced the Lord Messiah. And I think uh, that's that's where the anointing came. The Lord, the Messiah, actually the anointed one. It says the anointed one of God. He laid his guy was already anointed, but he did it on the earth. He laid his hands on him. Very important, I believe. And he was led by the Spirit to go to the temple. Wow, he was led by the Spirit. And Simon took the or the anointing. My interpretation. Infant in his arms and praising God, saying. Now, so God, he put his arms on him. He put his hands on him. He, I believe that was the first anointing that Jesus got. Now, that's the, you'll be, you can debate that if you want, but I believe that's when the Holy Spirit, because God, three sentences, he talks about the Holy Spirit. Bang. And that is the anointing. The anointed one is the Holy Spirit. You don't go anywhere without the Holy Spirit, champions. Here's an interesting thought. Maybe Simon, you think that he, he was a kept alive all these time was an old man that God had him all set aside, kept him alive just to anoint Jesus. Wow. Would it, not just because he's an old man, he prayed because God had a mission to anoint him. The high priests at that time were not anointed people. Half of them, they were very corrupt people. So God wanted to make sure he got his anointing, his man put his hands on his son, for he could pass that anointing down legally through man. God always works through man. Isn't that interesting? Wow. And remember, the second anointing, I believe, is when John the Baptist uh, baptized him. Now, John the Baptist is always an amazing thing, it said to me. He will be filled in Luke one fifteen, and it says, uh, because he will be great in the Lord's presence, he will never drink wine or strong and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he was born. Now that always kind of amazed me, that statement. How did, how did that, yeah. but I think his destiny was to, to, to go and baptize and anoint Jesus Christ. And because Jesus said, uh, John said, hey, you should be baptizing me. And no, uh, Jesus said, we 
must fulfill all righteousness. So the anointing must come on. And when he got anointed, when John the Baptist baptized him, I believe that he had his hands or lay hands on him, and the Holy Spirit came on them, and that is when Jesus got his public anointing. Now, let's back that up with Scripture, and if Jesus confirmed it. All right, champions, all right, let, let's go check that out right now. Now, the Scripture verse we're going to start on today is uh, Acts 10.38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, miracle work and power, because God was with him, and he went about doing good and healing everybody that was oppressed oppressed, oppressed by the devil, the devil, the devil. So he's healing everybody that oppressed of who? The devil. So what does the devil do? He oppresses everybody. Well, how does he oppress everybody? Well, sickness and disease, anger, bitters is a pretty good start. Now, this means also Christians. But what does God do? He went about doing good. Healing all those who are oppressed of the devil. So I believe uh, uh, on by, by these scriptures that it will see today is, is doing good healing people. Well, if you're not healing people, maybe you ought to start doing some more good. What do you think, champions? Let's figure out how to get this anointing. Uh, well, how did Jesus get his anointing? When did Jesus get his anointing? Let's take a look at that. And maybe we can figure out when Jesus gets his anointing. Maybe we'll figure out how to get you anointing to go about doing good, healing all those oppressed of the devil. What do you think, huh, champions? Yeah, let's look into it. Let's study the scriptures. Let's look at the scriptures. Look what you're, uh, what everything I say. Check it out and make sure it is backed up by scripture. You know, because me, I'm kind of known as, as bringing in new ideas according to scripture. But if it's not according to scripture, don't receive it. Let's see. Let's figure out when did Jesus get his anointing. Now, this is what I believe. That Jesus Christ got his anointing when he was baptized in the River Jordan by John the Baptist. The Holy Spirit came down upon him and he got filled and he got baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, fire, fire. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that anointing. And, and how do we get that anointing? And how do we activate that anointing and keep it flowing? Not just get it one time. What am I saying? That uh, up until that time, Jesus wasn't anointed, at least to uh, complete his public mission. He hadn't been publicly anointed yet. That's what I'm saying. He was the, still the son of God. He was God, but he, he didn't have his, uh, the anointing. Now, can you prove that to me, uh, Art? And I said, yes. And, and Luke 4, 1, then Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, returned to the Jordan, and he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to go fight the devil in that 40 days. And then when he came out, this is what he said. This is what Jesus said, not me. And he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, he has anointed me to tell the good news to the poor. He has sent me to release the prisoners and recovery of sight to the blind and to set people free. So there we go. Jesus Christ says he was anointed right after he got baptized. My question is, did the devil try to fight that anointing? Yes, he did. Now, if you want to look in uh, uh, Luke 3, you'll see... Uh, it'll, uh, Luke 3, it'll say, when Jesus was being baptized, he was praying. Well, he was praying because the devil, the, the, the second heavens, were blocked from being opened. And when Jesus prayed, he was breaking open air. He prayed a violent prayer. He, there was war for everything that God did. For, because it says also, the heavens were ripped open as he is praying, and, and the Spirit came down upon him. And, and Luke, you'll see, there was a war for that. The devil tried. That Jesus uh, knew that scripture where he says, uh, the kingdom of God has been forcefully advanced at the time of John the Baptist until now, and the violent taken by force. It's violent in prayer, not in action. Violent in prayer, violent in faith. Jesus fought for that anointing. You must fight for your anointing. That is the Holy Spirit coming upon you. It is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You want champions and the Holy Ghost. You guys know what I think about the Holy Ghost. 
I love the Holy Ghost. Say, I love you, Holy Spirit. Everybody say, I love you, Holy Spirit. Baptize me today with your fire, 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 just like Jesus. Everybody say that. Now, Jesus, you're going to have to get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Now, are you ready? Now, if you're ready, I'm kind of rushing for time. But close your eyes and say this right now. Father God, I repent of my sins. I forgive all of those who have hurt me in the past. And I forgive myself. Baptize me today with the Holy Spirit. And fire, fire, fire. Everybody take three deep breaths. Do you feel something moving in your stomach? You feel the fire. That's the Holy Spirit wanting to speak. Go ahead now. Right now, loose your tongue. Speak by faith. Go on speaking. Keep on speaking. But by faith. 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 In the name of Jesus. I believe the world could not hear more, Lord God. You can hear more, Halakia, who calls Sulia more, Halihaka. That's the spirit. You guys have got that anointing. Exercise it, use it, stir up the gift inside of you with a gift of tongues. Let, the, let your anointing go in Jesus' name. God bless you, champions. I'm out of time. I got to go. I love you. I love you. Speak in tongues all this week. Seek it. Don't give up. Don't quit. We'll talk about this again. God bless.